Hello everybody, this is Abraham with North Shore Computer Services and what I got here is a Dell Inspiron 13, it's a brand new unit. We are going to open the box, we are going to unpack the computer, we are going to take the computer apart all the way without even turning it on. Stay tuned. I got my knife. Let's slice the protective tape open. I'm doing this uh, because this computer, I liked it when it was uh, on display and uh, I wanted to see uh, basically what's inside. How close it is to something like uh, latitude we got a power cord it's a USB-C power cord got the second half of the cord got some silica gel do not eat by the way many people curious why this is in computers Silica gel is an anti-humidity agent, so when computers are stored for a long time, humidity could damage something, so silica gel will prevent it from happening, from damaging the computer. We got warranty safety, paperwork, that's another, and Inspiron 13. Five three one zero. How to plug in the charger? Oh, and what plugs we have? So the computer has a Thunderbolt USB-C. It has a Thunderbolt for charging. It does have HDMI connector, uh, full-size HDMI, and. Uh, USB 3.2 regular USB connector. All right. On one of the videos I make I was making, I was concerned that the Dell has made really bad choice on hinges and this one here it doesn't flex back like a yoga and it does feel uh, wobbly and uh, I don't know if this hinge is going to hold I'm gonna try it it's very wobbly. <clears throat> I think this top is plastic. That's why it's so wobbly. All right. Take it apart. It uses regular Phillips screws. Let's put it on the nice pad and uh, get a screwdriver here. What I'm looking for is uh, upgradability of the computer. I have been buying computers and uh, what I'm noticing more and more um, companies like Dell are making computers just like Apple, throwing things on the motherboard. You cannot replace or upgrade your hard drive your memory processor has been part of the motherboard for a long time now so nothing new there but uh, I believe hard drive and memory should be components that are plug it, plugging in interestingly <clears throat> the memory form factor has not changed in a really long time 
they've developed a new form factor for Wi-Fi and hard drives, but uh, for some reason, not the memory. I mean, they could make PCI Express memory. It would be perfect. And then you can have small, um, small memory modules. All right, gotta get this guitar pick to pick the case open. I don't need to turn on the computer because I know that it's going to start up Windows. That part I've seen, but I haven't seen the guts of it. All right, what do we have here? And here we have uh, two fans. So this computer does use uh, an involved video card. Big 54 watt hour battery. Let's see what's under here. Uh, hard drive. This is a 512 gig hard drive. It's a tiny little thing. But no memory that can be upgraded. What I do like about this computer, now that's what I was looking for, hinges, hinges, they are big. They're big on the lower case of the uh, board, or I should say computer. I don't know <clears throat> how big they are on the upper. It would be nice if Dell would have made hinges, you know, go long to spread the resistance of the computer or uh, the hinge resistance so that when you close it it's uh, it doesn't fail let's see how this goes so the bottom without the bottom cover I can see that the hinges do move quite a bit so this this big load spread is really good I like that I'm not liking that it's uh, uh, the memory is not upgradable on here. The other thing is it does not have a video card because there is the space for it. I didn't see it right away. So there is the optional video card with the memory chips that can be added to this computer. At the factory, not after the war, afterwards, just at the factory. So there is possibly a different motherboard that has the advanced video card on it. This one, the reason that I wasn't sure is on the box it does list, uh, what does it say? Intel Iris with XE graphics. So when I saw XE graphics, I thought maybe it's an extra card. It's not. It's the Intel processor with the graphics built in. It does not have a touch screen, Uh, which is not that bad. In fact, uh, I prefer it not to have touch screen. Uh, the bezel here is looks like it's removable, so the LCD can be pulled out. I'm not going to tear apart the LCD. Uh, would be nice, but uh, I'm not going to do it. I'm basically researching the hinge on this computer, and that's the primary reason why I needed to open it before I actually turn it on and decide whether I keep it or not and uh, the top section as I said is when you open it it kind of flexes a lot but I make an assumption here if the bottom hinge is well designed I'm hoping that the top hinge is designed well uh, top hinge anchoring is designed uh, well also well, that's all I have. This is, uh, again, Dell 13-inch Inspiron.
5310. Love it, hate it. The specs on the computer are good. The price on the computer is good. Uh, this is 2022, February, and the price is uh, 599 for this computer. Um, very light. Let me get a scale. All right, let's see how much you weigh, little guy. <laughs> it's more than two pounds. I think it's two and a half pounds. Get a, get a different scale. I do have a different scale. Yep, two and a half pounds. what two and a half pounds is okay uh, it does have the uh, headphone jack the SS USB 3 connector the regular size and on this side <coughs> has the standard HDMI and two USB-C connectors very good set of connectors unlike some computers that do not bundle <coughs> the regular USB or uh, uh, HDMI because it has Thunderbolt you can actually run HDMI through the USB-C but these guys were nice enough to add a connector which was useful let's put this thing back together And uh, we'll have to make a decision. Now, the reason that I'm deciding is there is another computer in the same price point, same uh, size, but different guts. It has less memory. It has AMD processor, meaning that the processor uh, might not be as powerful um, but let's let me bring that guy over and we'll do the comparison I will do a separate video on this guy I already took it apart and this is a yoga from Lenovo. And a uh, couple of things I do like about this computer. The feeling of the screen is much better. It's a lot thicker uh, top section. It has a fabric on it. I don't know if I like the fabric. I'm not totally against it, but uh, I don't know if I like it. But just to compare, this one feels a little more solid in the hinge situation. It does not have the backlit keyboard. Uh, hang on. It does have a backlit keyboard. Come on. I was looking for this button everywhere. I couldn't find it. Okay. It has a backlit keyboard, just like the Dell. But I'm here to show the guts of it. And as you can see, it has the same situation here. One fan, also gigantic battery that will last a really long time. This one is 58 hour, watt hour battery. It has a 256 hard drive. Um, eight gig of RAM, slower processor and 256 hard drive. It does have a touch screen. Uh, it does not have the HDMI, it has the USB, has the uh, charging port and Thunderbolt port, and it has, uh, looks like it's got two big USB connectors on there. 
and it's got two USB-C connectors. So as far as connectors go, this is good. It does not have the HDMI. One of the requirements is that it should have HDMI, but I have tested it with this unit where you have the HDMI and USB-C works just fine. Come on, stop catching my screws. So I'm trying to make a decision between these two laptops and uh, I like them both for different reasons. I'm not sure what to do here. I really am not sure. I like them both. Let's weigh, let's weigh the Lenovo. Uh, touch screen, by the way, is not a critical thing for me. Let's see. This one's three pounds. Well, it's got bigger battery. Um, visually, I do like Lenovo better. I like that it's uh, uh, darker uh, and uh, like smoother overall. The build of Lenovo is uh, I'm, I'm I like Lenovo build better. They both have the webcam covers. Well, that's a thing that's on all computers now. Um, all right. I'm curious, what do you guys think? Which one should I pick for a on-the-go laptop? Um, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Bye.